This is just a quick little walkthrough on how to illuminate the left LED on the Meet Edison robot using Ed Scratch. So you'll notice here we've got a ton of different control blocks. You can choose the different menus on the left and you'll have access to a bunch of different blocks that you can drag into your program. For this one, because we want to turn on the left LED, we'll go under the LED tab. We'll grab the turn left LED block and we'll move it over to the start. And if you want it to be part of your program, you're going to have to make sure that the blocks are connected. And because this program is so simple, this is all we need to do. You can also optionally put this inside of a control block that repeats this routine forever. And so when it gets to the end of the sequence, the LED goes back up and it's still on and it keeps running this forever and ever and ever. Uh, you can also choose to play around with this and maybe make your program more sophisticated. And maybe what you do is you turn the left LED on and then you give yourself a second of a wait and then you go back and you turn your LED off. And then if you wanted to have a blinking pattern, that's what this program will do. You would also want to wait a second after you turn it off. You can bring this inside of your forever loop and move the blocks around together so that they're connected. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and you can download the program to your robot and try it out. So the Ed Scratch app is very flexible. You could do a lot of different programs with it. If you want to control the motor, you would go into the drive menu and you can choose any number of these blocks to set the motors for either distances or speeds, or you can also do time durations. You can also set the robot for conditions. So if you wanted to move the robot forward until it either detects an object, and you can bring those in, and the object can be anywhere, it can be in the front of it. You can move it forward until the ob object is detected at half speed, so speeds are set from one to 10, where five is half speed. And this will be kind of a basis for doing some basic obstacle avoidance. And so in order to use the as obstacle avoidance, you have to turn the obstacle detection beam on. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. And then we'll also want to run this program forever so we can move these in. And so a lot of what Scratch is, is taking some information. We can actually move this guy out and here and just turn the beam on once. We don't need to do that forever. But a lot of what Scratch is, is taking these different blocks and connecting them together to form a program. And all the programs will be read from the start, start block at the very top and read top to bottom sequentially. So the first thing it'll do is the first block followed by the second block, followed by the third block and so on and so forth until you get to the end of the program. The control blocks, some of them are special in the sense that you'll either loop multiple times. So for the forever block, you'll get to the bottom and you'll go back to the top. Or for the repeat block, you'll go basically for the number of times that's defined here. So after it hits the 10th time, it'll exit out of the loop. To get rid of a block, you can just drag it into the trash bin. You can also zoom out and zoom in to make your workspace easier to see. And you can optionally create an account you can register for an account and save your programs so that the next time you go on to the Edge Scratch app, you can access your programs again. So this is just a little walkthrough of creating very simple programs using Edge Scratch. For the purposes of this tutorial, all we want to do is turn on the left LED. And so the only block we actually need is this left LED on. And we may even need to throw this inside of a forever loop if we want that LED to stay illuminated. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial.